From the BR Fraud Weather Center, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel with the very latest on today's storm system. It's been with us for quite a few hours, and with each hour, it has been dumping a bunch of rainfall. So here's the very latest, obviously, this afternoon and evening. You can see that the rain totals over the last six hours are pretty tremendous for a lot of areas. Thanks again for joining us on Facebook Live and also on our live stream at BRProud.com. You'll see here that we've got a couple bullseyes out there, the big one being right along I-12, just around the Madisonville area. And you see here, again, these are just radar estimates between Covington, Madisonville, and then up towards the Folsom area, the possibility of nearly eight inches of overall rainfall. We're getting reports of, again, I think 12 inches is a little bit high, but I'm getting closer. We are getting reports of six to maybe eight inches of rainfall in some locations out there with areas such as Florida Highway getting flooded at this point. A lot of off ramps I-55 are currently closed due to flooding. So if you have to head early tomorrow morning, if you do have to head your way towards the east, well, expect to see a little bit of flooding just along the North Shore between Covington, Mandeville and the Madisonville area. Um, I also want to show you again a little bit further out and you can see that we've got a lot of heavier pockets even closer to us here. You can see just a little bit south of Killian right along LA 22. Some areas reporting nearly again anywhere between three to maybe six inches of rainfall. Think, same thing around French Settlement and Dutchtown. You can see anywhere between four to five to even six inches of rainfall. And that's currently why again, as you see here, we move it a little bit further towards the west that we are now underneath a flash flood warning. That's now for portions of Ascension, Livingston, uh, St. John the Baptist and St. James. Notice even St. Gabriel and across the river near the Plaquemine area. Also, as you see here, we're talking tremendous amounts of rainfall. Now again, the concern is localized flash flooding not widespread flash flooding. Again, we may see some uh, water on some of our roadways, some barricades out there. Please do not drive through that high water. Do not go around those barricades. Just be smart out there this evening as we are starting to see a little bit of ponding out there. But luckily, we've actually been somewhat dry for the last couple weeks. And with that being said, well, again, we can handle a lot of this water. But here's the story right now. We've got a pretty decent complex out there. You can kind of even see it almost kind of looks somewhat tropical in nature at this point. And what I'm pointing out is almost looking like an eye forming around this system. You see this comma signature here? This is actually kind of a mid-level cyclone. And what you're seeing is a lot of this moisture being drawn in from the Gulf of Mexico, getting sucked back in over the same places. Notice we're even starting to see more thunderstorms develop between Morgan City and really I-10. So that puts it right across Ascension, St. James and St. John the Baptist Parish. So assumption you guys are going to start to see some heavier rainfall. Also, again, a little bit of lightning. Not really seeing much in the way of severe weather. Maybe some gusts up to about 30, 40 miles per hour. But as you see, this is a slow mover as it slowly is walking its way towards the north, north or east, northeast. And with that being said, it's going to continue to draw in on a lot of moisture. It's also getting some mid-level support out there, which is going to continue to keep this thing pumping along, continuing to keep this thing dragging in more moisture and dumping more rainfall over the next couple hours. So <clears throat> what we're looking at, obviously, as you zoom in a little bit, Right now, some moderate to heavy rainfall from Zachary down towards the 10-12 split. We're also seeing some, uh, some of that heavier rainfall a little bit further north now, and you can see that also includes the Jackson area uh, right around St. Francisville, some heavier pockets or bands in there. Also, again, around the Clinton area, you can expect some heavy rainfall, and this is going to continue. Again, the concern is localized flash flooding. Our rivers and our streams should be fine. I'm not too worried about the Amine and the Comey, even though I would say the rain is getting a little bit higher, at least the overall totals a little bit further east. So we're talking on the other side of I-55. So we could see some concerns for the Tangipahoe River and the Chifuncta Rivers, but <clears throat> I don't think it's that much of a concern, obviously, for the Amy. Now, as you see here, a little bit of heavy rainfall south of Vachery, or Vachery down towards the Thibodeau area. 
and you can see more storms moving into the Donaldsonville area all the way up into Laplace and I-10 towards the Sorrento area. And that really could continue for about another hour to two hours before the system finally starts to lift out of here because it continues really to be a very slow mover. And we're really starting to see a lot of those thunderstorms kind of fill at the tail end. You can see all these thunderstorms a little bit south of Abbeville and down towards the Franklin area and towards uh, Morgan City and over towards Homa that are more storms are starting to build and make their way up towards the northeast. So that's something definitely that we need to watch. So here's the very latest, obviously warning wise. The only warning that we currently have in place for portions of the viewing area right now, that is a flash flood warning. That's for Livingston, St. Tammany, and Tangipaho until 930 this evening. That's because we've already seen two to six inches of rainfall, plus the additional possibility of another two, maybe three inches of rainfall before everything is said and done. Notice, notice again, they just issued a new flash flood warning, and that includes the parishes of Ascension, Assumption, St. James, and St. John the Baptist. Stay weather aware if you live anywhere underneath that red box. We're talking in the cities of Gonzales, Dutchtown, uh, a little bit south of St. Gabriel, but if you live in the Prairieville area, uh, if you live in Sanima, a lot of those areas, Sorrento, Laplace, anything in between down towards Donaldsonville, you can see some very heavy rainfall in place. As you could see also an additional two, maybe four inches of rainfall, depends on how these storms start to set up. And it looks like we've got a new marine warning going across the lakes. Possibility of a couple water spouts also, as we've been seeing some very localized spin-ups in the area. So here's what's happening on the future cast. And I just want to show you, our models are indicating, this is our high resolution resolution model that a lot of these storms are going to start to lift out of here. Hopefully by the time we get to about 10 11 tonight. However, again, as you see on the big picture out there that we still have some pretty decent concerns out there as this is a very slow mover. You can show you a little bit of a wide shot and the really the big concern here is obviously you've got this area spinning right here. What is doing is it's drawing in all that moisture out the Gulf of Mexico. Right now we're looking at what we call precipital water valleys that just really kind of measures the amount of moisture in the atmosphere and it's sitting pretty high at this point. That means uh, again the atmosphere is pretty juiced up to produce some pretty intense rainfall rates. Obviously you're starting to see some of these storms ignite and if you see a lot of light and kind of jam packed again these are pretty dynamic storms. That means that we could be seeing a lot of rain in a short amount of time. Now hail not an issue with this. Yeah, we could see in an area just around I-55 and the North Shore, maybe an isolated tornado that could spin up. Not expected to be strong tornadoes, just some, uh, I would say some small ones out there, some rain wrapped tornadoes. You're definitely not going to see it, and obviously it's dark at this hour, so you're not going to see much. You just may get some winds kind of gusting and swirling up to maybe 50 to 60 miles per hour. Um, but again, the concern is that this slow moving system, and I'll give you the general track, you can see from right about here moving towards that general direction, towards the east northeast, is starting to kind of draw in. A lot more moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. You can see kind of in that band, I'll kind of draw it out a little bit further. The concern is going to be all of those cities and basically anybody that lives underneath that line at this point, because again, that's where you're going to see that heaviest rainfall as we make our way into the evening hours. So what we're going to do is since we have a show coming up in a matter of about 15 to uh, I would say, well, it's about 17 minutes now. Um, Tune in to Fox 44 tonight. We're going to have the very latest on what's happening with this system and if we're going to continue to see that flash, uh, flash flooding concern, obviously, as we make our way into the evening hours, it really is going to continue to be a threat as we continue to move forward. We've also got on NBC Local 33 at 10 o'clock, we're going to have the very latest also. So thanks for joining us on BRProd.com. Thanks for joining our Facebook stream. If you have any questions or concerns, please drop me a line below and I'll try to answer what I can on the fly. But good news is I think our rivers and streams will be fine. No concerns about flooding there. It's just that localized, those areas that are typically prone to flooding. And you guys know what to do. Again, avoid that high water. If you don't have to be on the roadways this evening, don't. Just wait for some of that water to drain a little bit because the concern right now is more so runoff over the next hour to two hours to three hours once that runoff comes to an end, then we'll start to see where that water goes. And again, it's really going to start to filter into some of the local rivers and streams. But again, we're keeping a very close eye on the flooding. If you have uh, some flood areas to report, please obviously let us know that. 
so that way we can kind of notify everybody else. Once again, thanks for joining us and we'll be back on television in nine o'clock or nine o'clock on Fox 44.